Hello friends, welcome to the lecture 6. In this lecture, we are going to teach you what is Ferment's Little Theorem. So, Ferment stated basically two versions, first and second. So, first version says that a raised to p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p, where p is any prime number. Second version states that a raised to p is congruent to a mod p, where p is again prime number. I will come to this 1 and a later on while solving this sum. All right. So the first example we are going to solve is 6 raised to 10 mod 11. So by watching this version, we can say that it relates to the first one. So we can write it as 6 raised to 11 minus 1 mod 11 as 11 is prime so we can surely say that this version matches this equation all right so now what i mean is that whenever you find this sort of equation our answer will be one because if our equation satisfies first version our answer will always be one so we can here directly write our answer will be equal to one all right now let us move to the next example so here we have 3 raised to 12 mod 11 so let me tell you that we will not, not always be plattered with very delicious dishes so we have to do work by our own all right so for 3 raised to 12 we can write it as 3 mod 11 multiplied by 3 raised to 11 mod 11 so here we did a little bit of smart work so as we can see that this equation again matches the first version sorry it matches the second version all right so here our answer will always be equal to a so our answer over here a is related as 3 so now we can write it that 3 mod 11 is equal to 3 but obviously and 3 raised to 11 mod 11 according to our second version is also equal to 3 mod 11 so our answer will be 9 clear now let us move to the third example which says that 5 raised to 15 mod 13 again it is not the very easy sum we have to put our mind into this so we can write it as 5 square mod 13 into 5 raised to 13 mod 30 so here again we can observe that this equation is the second version one so our answer will be equal to a so here our a is 5 so this we can write it as 25 mod 13 into 5 which is equal to 12 into 5 mod 13 which is equal to 60 mod 13 so our final answer here will be equal to 8 is this clear so now I think that you guys are clear that what are for what is Fermin's little theorem what is first version what is second version we have solved these three examples having the usage of both the versions so now we would like to give you these three examples to do it by your own and if you find any difficulty in solving this you may ask us for help we will be happy to help you do comment in our comment section thank you